Hey, uh, what you doing there? Oh. <laughs> strapping. Do you care if I put you on YouTube? I'm strapping. <laughs> You're stroking? Only, only, only if, uh, if uh, you change my name and... Alright. This is Sir Stinky Schlocksmagox. There you go. Helping me move this lathe. Crash. Oh man, this guy's a good sport. Man, the cabinet weighs almost as much as the lathe. It does have the motor in it. So the shipping label on this said 400 pounds, but it's more like double that. Hopefully I got the uh, shipping rate for the 400 pounds. But man, it is definitely heavier than that. Nice bot. It's always nice when someone remembers to uh, <laughs> connect the gas line. Please don't think, please don't think. because on the shipping label it said 400 pounds <clears throat> and it was more like 800 or so so since it was only 400 pounds I didn't take any tools to dismantle the lathe because I figured I'll just take the whole crate it's only 400 pounds right so uh, it was just too too heavy to move we could we moved it a little bit and then we're like well we're not gonna get this the whole way so we started taking the crate apart with a, with a steel pipe that was laying around and we found a hammer <laughs> that was just there and uh, then luckily my friend was like wait there was a workshop down the street so we went down there and asked the guy if we could borrow a few wrenches for like half an hour and the dude was super cool and super nice and he let us borrow some wrenches I mean didn't even know who we were, we were. he just said you know where are you guys going we told him where we were going it was like, ah, oh, yeah, here you go. So we used the wrenches. Well, first we dismantled the whole crate, then used the wrenches to take the lathe off the base and take a whole bunch of pieces off the lathe. Man, even in multiple pieces, it was still mighty heavy, the individual pieces, but we got them here. Um, yeah, oh, and my friend, I don't know, a few months ago I mentioned that a friend was coming to visit, potentially to stay and live here. Uh, and you know, this is like the 20th person that this has happened with. But I think he's the first one who's staying. Because he bought a boat, he's he's bought some land, he built himself a temporary house. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's staying. And uh, yeah, we went in his boat today to go get the lathe. And that was super cool. Well, he had, he had some, some stuff to to move to so I helped him with that it's super cool having a friend to do that stuff with because both of our jobs were easier even though I think I think more of that work was on my end today but you know we're friends we'll we'll even it out at some point all right I hope it doesn't rain but I have everything covered up in the dark here with tarps and whatever that you can't see in the dark <sighs> can't believe this lathe is here man this is a big lathe Awesome. I also gotta say thanks to the guy who sold me this lathe at like scrap metal price. Like cheap scrap metal price. Uh, it is worth way more than what I paid for it. And, and then he uh, 
packed it in a crate uh, and got it ready for your shippers. And thanks to the guy who sent me the, you know, bought me the milling machine too. And, you know, I also have to pay extra to get that thing shipped out here to the island or actually to another island, then I have to go get it from that island. But getting things shipped to that island in South Central America, you know, I have to pay extra for that. And that's, I just gotta th say thanks to everyone who sends me money on PayPal or uh, on my Patreon. Super thanks. I try to, I try to express that through the, through the videos in general, but I think once in a while I need to just directly say it. So, ah, thank, thank you so much. Oh, and thanks to my ankle. Yeah. Let's go clean that up.